So we're here with Chris Mayer from Hisense, and he's going to tell us about what Hisense is going to be doing in Australia in 2020. So let's just start with how Hisense is planning to change the game and make things exciting for Australians this year. Yeah, absolutely. So we have two massive innovations that we're bringing to market. Uh, we're going bigger with our existing laser technology. So we're taking it from 100 inch all the way to 150 inch, which is ridiculous. Um, and we're also bringing a brand new technology that we showed off here first uh, last year at CES, which is the dual cell TV. We're actually launching that in Australia, uh, which I'm very excited about as well. Well, that sounds great. I mean, so we'll go into each technology, but let's just look at the Australian consumer. So how are their needs changing in Australia this year? And, and what's Hisense doing to, to sort of meet those needs? So definitely customers are going bigger. Uh, we're seeing a trend, 55 used to be the biggest, and now 65, people are going into 75. So that appetite for larger TVs is definitely growing in Australia. Um, and also, customers are moving away from live TV as their primary source and moving towards streaming services very frequently. Um, so we are upping the game in our uh, smart platform offering as well to meet that need. Well, let's talk about laser TV. So for those who aren't familiar with it, how would you describe what laser TV is? And then we'll go into what's new this year. Yeah, for sure. So when we launched laser TV last year, basically what you have is a short throw console that sits where you would normally put your TV. Now the Hisense team will actually come into your house and install everything for you and calibrate it. Um, and then what you have is no wires going into the wall. You have a full sound system built into the console. Basically, we're trying to offer something that's very clean uh, as a one-stop solution to the entire product. Well, let's talk about some of the uh, the traditional panel TVs, uh, only not so traditional. Yes. Um, can we talk about um, dual cell uh, technology? Yes, absolutely. So imagine, if you will, all the benefits of an OLED TV. So that rich inky black that you're used to. Now add all of the benefits of an LCD TV, which is the higher brightness, the better motion rate, the higher rel reliability. You're not getting any of that image sticking issue. That's what the dual cell is. Basically, you're giving you the benefits of a bright TV and the benefits of an OLED TV paired into one product. So you're basically taking two panels and fuse them together, and one handles the luminance or the light and dark, and one of them handles color. Is that how it works? That's exactly right. So we have one panel behind, which is grayscale. Now, basically, that projects all of the light mapping that you would see on the picture. So where we need things to be dark, where we need things to be bright. Then that gets passed through to the color filter, and that's where we actually get to see all of the beautiful colors of the picture. So what you get is we can trace around an object with incredible precision um, so that there's completely black where we need it and completely bright where we need it. So that sounds like the kind of effects and benefits that you'd normally get with an OLED type of TV technology. Is, is that the idea behind why this is, is being done? Yeah, 100%. What we wanted to do was bring the benefit of OLED without any of the pitfalls. So Vita 4.0 is the new operating system that's going to run on Hisense TV. So, so what kind of things can it do? So what we've added to Vita 4.0 is uh, far field voice control. So I can be sitting here, the TV can be over there, and I can just say, hey, Alexa, I want to watch this. And it'll basically bring out the content for me. I can also control the entire house with it as well. I can turn my lights on, open the garage door, check the security camera. All of those things are going to be built into the TV. And when it comes to content, we're bringing a hell of a lot more Australian local apps um, that'll be coming out this year as well, which is very important to us. Well, look, thanks, Chris. Really appreciate it. But one thing I have to know is, what's the thing that you're most excited about um, that Australians are going to be able to enjoy this coming year? I think, you know, having a true challenger to OLED uh, in that dual cell technology, when I heard that we were going from 16 zones to over 2 million zones, I was kind of blown away. And it wasn't really until I actually saw the TV, had it right in front of my face, that I truly thought, that's an OLED TV. And then they told me, no, it's not. So yeah, that's what's going in my house. And I think that's what should be going in a lot of Australian Okay, TV. So there, there's what we need to do. Go into a showroom. Check, oh, 100%. Out, check out ULED. I think it needs to be seen to be believed. Unfortunately, just talk, talking about how many numbers of zones there are, it doesn't mean anything until you're right in front of it and you see it yourself. Well, sounds great. Looking forward to it. Cool. Thank you very much. Thanks.